76,000 square feet. That's the size and cost of a new greenhouse in Memphis that will provide agricultural research and seed breeding. Bayer Crop Science owns it, and they opened their doors to us this morning for a tour. Local 24 meteorologist Sean Parker is actually there, and what do they have in there, Sean? Katina, what's in these walls right here, you're looking at it, is technology. Technology the agricultural world has rarely seen before. Everything from irrigation, irrigation to the placement of the plants actually in there, all the way to the initial seeding, almost everything in there is automated. And the manager of that greenhouse tells me that there's no other place like this in the, in the country. We were looking at efficiency, uh, sustainability, innovation. $17 million later, she found it with this greenhouse. She is Miranda Clark, the greenhouse manager. If we hadn't used this automation system, because of the amount of seedlings that we need to grow, the facility would have been like twice the size. Automation is a process that could be set to flight of the bumblebee around here. Let's start at the beginning, dirt and fertilizer. Before we built this facility, we had to actually mix our fertilizer into our soil and add that soil into our pots. No longer. This puts the exact amount of each that they need in the pot, something that used to take six people to do. Once the trays are filled, they get loaded onto a container and moved through the uh, head house for planting. This is where labor's done. Yes, we still need good old fashioned people to do the job. People will come to this area and perform their task uh, whether it's planting, if they're actually taking samples of tissue. Think about that. Farming in an air-conditioned building, no heavy listing, your crops coming to you. Miranda hopes it increases worker efficiency. From here, the computers know where to go. All the containers have barcodes, um, and depending on the activity, we set up in the computer where we want those containers to be placed. Once in the greenhouse, the testing begins on hundreds of thousands of seedlings in a controlled environment. Sunlight and temperature are monitored and not a drop of water is wasted. Plants, soil, soak up the water and then any excess water is drained off. So all of the excess water comes back to the system and is recycled. And you care about this because what happens in there trickles directly down to the farmers. They get a better seed to make a better product, which eventually you, the consumer, buy. So the research that's happening today, or at least this week, is in the shadows of the Delta Fair next to the Agri Center, and it all comes down to you getting a better T-shirt to wear. Live in East Memphis, Sean Parker, Local 24 News.